I think things appeared on the map. It sure seems like. Uh, so it seems like the next mission is about going to the Yiga Clan hideout directly then. And what the heck is this over here then? Um, reward qualify for the trial of the great fairies offering help on the road. A weary traveler is upset to have crossed the desert in search of the great fairy fountain, only to find he doesn't have enough for an offering. Uh, you should help him, right? Well, there goes nearly half my rupees. For a great fairy offering. Uh, offering help on the road, the traveler came back to Gerudo Town after making the offering to the great fairy and rewarding you with double what you gave him. Oh! May, may travelers always be so blessed. Okay. Nice, we have 15k rupees now. Oh my goodness, and more stuff appeared on the... Yeah, fairy fountain desert sands. First clear reward, and uh, give me fairies and stuff. Main enemies, one of them is grayed out. Would that be like fighting a great fairy themselves? I have no idea where the other one that appeared was. Um, we have a lot of things that appeared on the on the map here. Oh, another bonus combo for Link. The treasure hunter's technique. We're going to be having out a lot of stuff on the map, I think. The treasure hunters lurking in the ruins seem quite adept at fighting monsters. If Link gives them something to make exploring easier, they might be persuaded to teach him their ways. Hmm. Now, apparently they need Hinox guts to make exploring a little easier. Apparently. So I wonder if these things on the map are like power-ups to our various Sheikah runes. Among the treasure hunters was a Claymore expert, as thanks for the supplies he gave Link a masterclass on using two-handed weapons. Okay, so that extends our basic string. Help those with problems in the Gerudo region and make the world a happier place. Completion rate 14%. Okay, so I guess we got a bunch of stars for areas now that are just like, you get this reward once you've like 100%ed that area, I guess? And we get the Thunder Helm for that. Interesting. Researchers are planning to develop improvements for Magnesis, but they're concerned about the risk of electrocution. I mean, there's something you can do to ally their fears and reduce time between Magnesis use. Okay, so it's like a cooldown buff then. Okay. With a boost to their electricity resistance, the researchers were able to work in perfect safety. Soon they developed a major upgrade to the Magnesis ability. Recovery time for Magnesis now. Sure. So we got Magnesis Plus. Okay. Uh, a most peculiar Korok. A Korok wants to possess a flower that swirls with butterflies. The creep. Well, I guess we don't really see Korok details in battle info. Hmm. What do you mean, see Korok details in battle info? Does that mean that it would, like, show me how many Koroks I've yet to get when I hover over, like, a certain mission? Because that'd be really cool, honestly. Hmm, I need Guardian parts here. Reduce time between stasis uses. But we haven't fought Guardians apart from that one in, like, the second level. Explosive Endeavors. There's a researcher at the Ancient Tech Lab who is passionate about the science of combustion. He thinks he can make remote bombs even more potent given a few Guardian parts. Now, it looks like we do have the giant ancient cores for that. Oh. Though the inner workings of remote bombs are still shrouded in mystery, there's no doubt that the materials we provided led to a boost in their explosive potential. Oh, remote bomb plus. Neat, neat. And then... Uh, fairy Fountain Grassy Plains. Hmm. What does it have that I need? Who knows? Oh, we get, like, the whole... Oh, that's from the original Hyrule Warriors! That has, like, the scarf of that! The hope of all Hyrule. Help those with problems in every corner of Hyrule to make the world a happier place. So for 100% in the game, you get the outfit for Link from the original Hyrule Warriors along with, like, the scarf. That's cool! Help those with problems in central Hyrule to make the world a happier place. And then we get, like, the opal earrings for that. And then this is for, like, 100%ing the whole map. Crazy. Huh. Lighting the way, and di oh, this gives shop discounts. Eastern Hyrule has developed to the point that people rely on the transport of goods day and night. Gather all the light resources you can to make the roads safe to travel after dark. Discount in East Hyrule 10%. Okay, so we can start getting some shop discounts like that. Hm. With your light sources installed, the roads got brighter, and that led to more people than ever traveling the roads. That will aid the region in its development. Cool. That's so cool how they included a costume for the original Hyrule Warriors. I like that. Spear bonus combo. Oh, I need some electric key swings and fire key swings. Hmm. Yeah, so that's this area, and that's like climbing gear. And I'm pretty sure this is the area where you would get the climbing tunic, I think. I'm not 100% certain. Um, oh, we get another special attack gauge for Impa. A Taino pasture is looking to change its wheat supplier. No matter the expense, they want higher quality crops to feed their livestock and stuff their pillows. Samantha famed is famed for its wheat, but we're going to have to give you a whole bunch more stuff. Seems new like. New power, new hope. 
The family at Hateno Pasture was over the moon about those beautiful golden wheat stalks. They soon signed a deal with a grower in Tabantha, deepening the bond between their two villages. Nice. Really helping out the Hateno Pasture. A sparkling solution. Oh my goodness, you need a lot of gemstones for this. You meet the dye merchant again and learn that he needs gems for dyes to fund his business. Seems like you can't create colors without the gems. How curious. And reward is new colors for the coach. Okay, so there is more colors available later on in that case. The dye merchant created new colors using the gems he provided. There should be a new selection of colors in stock now. It's worth checking out. Cool. So what other colors are there? Green and purple looks like. I assume there's going to be more colors later on as well. As we progress and such. Hmm. Oh, I need a whole bunch of those. Link plus two bonus hearts. That'd be handy, wouldn't it? It's like the rubber leggings. So it seems like a whole bunch of these area completion rewards are cosmetic things. Let's see here. Mifa bonus combo. It seems that diving to the bottom of the river and collecting sunken luminous stones, Mifa may learn how to move and attack more fluidly. Okay, so let's get a new Mifa combo with this then. I will not rest on my lawns. Uh, Mifa collected an enormous number of luminous stones from the riverbed, leaving not one behind. She emerged from the water with improved swimming and spear skills as well as a new move. Oh sweet, we got it. Okay, so maybe it's like, maybe it's not just a Link thing in this game, but it's just a thing about this game in general, where everybody's final X that they can get can be led into with like five or six. Maybe. Like I can always turn off the tracking for that. What's the other thing I'm tracking anyway? Is this over here. As for our bonus combos, that's, you know, good indeed. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we've got stuff over here as well. One of the new researchers has strong insights, but an even stronger appetite. She says she can't form a thought unless her belly is full. Make a large meal to feed her genius. More Sheikah sensor registry. Oh! So that just, like, increases the cap, I guess. After cleaning her plate, the researcher sank her teeth into her work, and soon enough she discovered how to make the Sheikah slate more powerful. Number of registrations for the Sheikah sensor has increased. Okay, so we can mark some more things as active then. Whether because of body heat or a fluke of air temperature, the room designated for Sheikah Slate research is unbearably hot and stuffy. Will those poor researchers cool down? Alright, here you go. There we go we then. Well. The researchers could focus much better with the white with white choo choo jelly cooling them off. They were progressed by leaps and bounds, they even came up with a more potent version of Cryonis. Nice! So we're improving our cooldown and such. It's like the Sheikah leggings there. The ruby kind of headband. The Rook bonus combo. We can track that and we might be able to get it at like a shop, maybe. No? I don't see it in any shops at the moment. Dang, maybe a shop later. Is a thing. I can get it as a reward if I like 100% to this area. Oh, but we'd also get it there, so I could always do that. As we scan around here, though. Let's see, here a bunch of Hestu stuff. Well, out of the woods, a team in Korok has finally plucked up the courage to pursue their dream of venturing outside Korok Forest. They're bound to get lonely, so make them a packed lunch to remind them of home. That gives me a Hestu bonus combo, apparently. <laughs> After spreading out the packed lunch and giving it their nod of approval, the Korok dance its way out of Korok Forest. Go on for now, but certain to turn up where you least expect them. Alright, another Hestu combo. And we can get another special attack gauge on. You hear- It's Shakala time, apparently. You hear that Hestu, the magician of Korok Forest, wants to play a recital for all his siblings. Bring me lots of Korok seeds so I can shake my rock, cause Shakala. Alright, let's give him some Korok seeds for just that. I learned the thing! With plenty of seeds to fill his maracas, Hestu played a lively rhythm that got everybody in Korok Forest dancing. The great Dekuchi watched in silence as the revelers prance around. Revelers? I don't even know what that word is. Revelers? I have no idea. Um, the mushroom shop. A Korok who loves mushrooms more than anything in the world is planning to open their very own mushroom shop. Grab some first-rate fungi as a gift to celebrate the grand opening, and we'll get a bonus heart with Hestu like that. Okay. <laughs> Admiring their wide selection of wares, the cork began to cry. They couldn't bear to sell off these beautiful shrooms. Instead of a shop, they opened a mushroom museum for all to enjoy. Nice. Another heart for Hestu. Bit by bit, we're decking out everything. It wants me to go to the military training camp because I know some characters are still underleveled. We have 15k rupees that I can te that I could technically burn somewhere. Um. Oh, we could always get plus two bonus hearts for Zelda if we tracked, say that. I mean, what if I took my trackers, like I, my bonus combo. 
stuff is my biggest priority when it comes to getting more stuff. Let's see here. Oh, we'll get a bonus combo with the Sheikah Slate. Impa is worried about the researchers at the Royal Tech Lab. Their work has hit an impasse and they're all feeling frustrated. Maybe there's something you can do to ease the tension. Here's a whole bunch of flowers. Here's a whole smorgasbord of them. The Royal Tech Lab was steeped in calming weapons. With their frayed nerves soothed, the researchers made a major breakthrough. You can expect even better results from them now. So it does seem like the Sheikah Slate doesn't get regular kind of combo strings like the other characters where it can be like 4Ys into X, 5Ys into X, and then a couple more Ys on top of that. It seems like it's purely like this very condensed string of other things and attributes essentially, which is intriguing to say the least. A bonus combo for Urbosa, nice. Stealth mission. Hearing about a horde of monsters up on Thunder Plateau, Urbosa set out to investigate personally. Of course, it's a risky mission. Get something that would keep her hidden from the enemy. So we give her a whole bunch of Stealthin, Silent Shroom, Sneaky River Snail. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. Urbosa returned with welcome news. The monsters' numbers were few. Evidently, the eyewitness had mistaken shadows from a lightning flash for a horde of fearsome foes. But I'll extend that basic string a little bit more. Got another recipe over here. For, with a bunch of mushrooms. A cook wants to create a new dish using mushrooms, but is frustrated by a lack of fresh ideas. Just to help that she doesn't have the ingredients either. Get them, ver get, get them various mushrooms. Okay. Well, we have various mushrooms. Here you go. The, co the cook finally had a mushroom breakthrough and created an entirely new dish. She's given you the recipe so you can make it yourself whenever you want. Copious mushroom skewers. Movement speed plus 15%. Oh, it needs like really expensive ingredients with like the big hearty truffles. Huh. Oh, those are like the snowshoes, the snow boots or whatever the heck. Anti-ice training two. Huh. Huh. There's like the Yiga Clan thing, Bob. So I think I've done all the things that are currently available to me like that. How many things am I tracking too? So I can track one more thing. Is there anything else for like a bonus combo that I can track somewhere? There's a spear bonus combo, so I can track that. So we could do. Plus two bonus hearts is pretty nice too. This kind of thing. So it does seem like there are some orange missions that I haven't done yet where we can get some things. It seems like. Hmm. Hmm. I assume that grayed out thing is going to be a great fairy. Fairy fountain, grassy plains. Are we going to fight a great fairy? Is that what's going on here? Sure. Sure. And then... The level I recommends is around 25, so we can probably... I mean, we can always get everybody to at least 25. That's what we could do in this. Just bump them up a little bit. I'll turn off this camera so my ruby count is actually shown. Like, that might not be the worst idea ever. Do something like this. I could also go to the blacksmith and check to make sure that... You know, nobody's too full on weapons. So let's see here. 13. Oh, yeah, you should deal with things then. In that case, Zelda. So, I mean, this is kind of my grinding one almost. So if we have some more circle ones, I mean. Or just a bunch of skills I'm probably not going to use here. Yeah, we could put like a battle experience circle thing on. If we can get this up high enough. And we can boost it up enough, this will get to level 8, which is nice. And then we can throw on, say, some of these things. A whole bunch of ones that don't have attributes. Oh, this one just gives more fusion material experience. Nice. And then we can do something like experience stuff. There we go, battle experience plus 4%. That's what we can do. So this can just be kind of like a general good grinding kind of Sheikah Slate, essentially. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. All right, so that's your inventory cleaned out a little bit. Everybody else looks fine. <laughs> as far as I can tell. So then let's go over here. Let's switch over to like... I don't know. We haven't played Ravali in a while. Let's play him. This is what we'll do. Let's play some Ravioli, Ravioli, give me the Formioli. This is what we shall do. Let's get in there. Are we actually going to be fighting a great fairy? Am I interpreting this correct? <laughs> like, what's a grayed out thing gonna be? We're about to hit a hundred side quests done pretty soon. Pretty soon here. We're at 98. 
Just a couple more to go on that front. Jumping, jumping. When you're airborne, you can still dodge by pressing B, press CR while in the air to land. Good to know. Good to know indeed. Jump around. Man, this little guardian can sure jump high. Oh my goodness, is it like the Mario thing where like, with each subsequent jump you get height? It seems like it is. Like if I stop and I hold B, yeah, I don't go as high. It's like the kind of Mario triple jump thing almost. Interesting. Well. Oh my, it totally is. Well, fairy fountain, grassy plains. What is this music? And for the targeted position, huh? Well. My goodness, that is a lot of stuff on the screen. When Rivali's doing things. Wait. Mr. Dudo, defeat fire moblet and key enemies. Will do, because I gotta do that to like get through in that case. Okay. Well. <laughs> Back into the air, I suppose. I was pressing the freaking dodge button. Oh my goodness. Well, there goes basically all my health. Kill him. I'll redo it. Yeah, my healing items aren't exactly full. My goodness. Alright, so we're gonna go towards the Great Fairy then. So, yeah, let's go ahead and fight Mr. Fire Moblin. That's what we do. Hmm. Well, well you don't. Oop. That didn't weaken your thing down as much as I hoped it would, honestly. It definitely did not, to say the least. They're both gonna be swinging simultaneously. Whoa! At first I thought that bombard was them hitting me. Just because I saw the explosions. Panic for a hot second. Well. Oop, do some big damage to them like that. Oh, we got a single ice goblin over there. Yeah, this grounded one combo is uh definitely not half bad. Okay. Oop. Ow! There goes literally all my health except for a quarter heart in one shot. Literally just because of one shot protection. Not okay. Like, I guess I'll use one. Like, yikes! My goodness. Yeah, if we could get a weak point break on you, that'd be cool. I'm trying to- I can't fly over the rock, apparently. That's pretty cool. Okay, well. Let's just stun that one ice moblin, at least. Don't you dare. Okay, well, we'll get both them down a little bit with that. Don't. Stop right there. Okay, we're almost there for your thing being whittled down. Almost. That'll do an explosion thing over here. I want to focus on this fire moblin that barely has any health at the moment. That's what I would like to focus on, quite frankly. Whoops. Whoops. Well, time for another explosion. Time for another explosion down there. I can't believe that they can take off all my health except for like the one quarter heart. In literally one hit. Very hard mode in a nutshell, let me tell you. Okay, well. Okay, we should probably go after Mr. Fire Moblin number two. Dang, I was hoping that that would be, you know, food or something like that. No, think about rods. Wait, I can't use, and maybe I just can't use them in the air or something? Probably. I had to guess. What? That is the wrong direction there, Raval. Get through! I've tried my best to get through. It's not letting me. My goodness. Well... Okay, so then we'll only have the one Moblin left after we take out this one. My goodness. Okay. Just the Ice Moblin left. Okay. Stop. Stop at this instant, please. What? Oh, not quite what I wanted to do. Not quite it. Yeah, I just can't use rods in the air in that case. Is all it is. So I hope this takes you out. Yeah, this music is, uh, certainly something. Treasure chests have been discovered. What? Here? Marked it? 
I have no idea, but I'm on a time limit, so I better skedaddle. Gather the rupees? What are you talking about? Is this where they were discovered? Was I looking at the map wrong? Oh, I was, apparently. Okay, 300 rupees, apparently. 300 more rupees. 300 more. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let's keep heading for the targeted position. Continue heading for the targeted position. Gate is closed, huh? Gate is closed, huh? Feed the Hinox. Okay, well, we'll do. Oh my Jesus. Thank goodness he grabbed that box. Thank you, Mr. Hinox, dude. Well, I thought I had a. I do have a four Ys into, into X. I must have just been like messing it up. Hmm. Like that's four. Oh, and then I land and create a tornado with that one. Interesting. Interesting is what that one is, and it does a lot to the weak point gauge. So I mean, see how much this does. I might heal again, honestly. Like, just to be extra safe. Well. Do some stuff like that. Yeah, sure, I'll use another one. Dang it. I kind of want to conserve my stuff, but... But alas. Yeah, I'll try doing the thing again. One, two, three, four, and then... Oop, the tornado. And then that's going to do a whole bunch of damage. And then we'll do the weak point smash. Hopefully it does a decent bit here. I hope I don't have to fight another big dude after the Hinox. Because the time limit sketches me out. This is the thing. Woo! I'm gonna have to stay to you in a hot second like that. Is what we do. And then I'll do the one, two, three, four, and then the crazy tornado thing. Because that seems to like really whittle through the weak point gauges. I got yellow choo choo jelly that I apparently need for something. Apparently so. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on doing this little vortex thing for Bob. Stop. Oh! Wow, that worked out wonderfully. With a yellow choo-choo exploding. Wonderful! I mean, I've kind of used yellow choo-choos before to explode and do things to enemies in Breath of the Wild before. Especially on Eventide Island when I was stuck on that raft. Especially in that. Okay, do something that creates an opening, please. Please, Mr. Hinox. Oh! The one, two, three, four, tornado. Hmm. Okay. And then we got a stasis. Shoot that! Just hover in the air for a hot second, and then we'll do the vortex. Yeah, I really hope that this is the last enemy that I have to defeat. Whoops, that is not the vortex that I wanted. Or needed. Let me out of here. I got stuck on him for a hot second. No! Dang it! Like, I should have enough time to take out the Hinox, but if there's anything after the Hinox, I won't have enough time. This is the thing. Hmm. Well, I didn't get to do the thing that I wanted in time. Stop. Stop. Stay away from me. Well. Well. Let's maybe do this. Only a little time remains. I know. I'm aware. I'm trying my best here. Okay, well. Whoops. Well. Oh, come on. So close. Wait, yeah, do it. No! Dang it! Oh no. No, 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 no. Come on. Weak point smash. Quarter of a heart again. Okay, treasure chest has been discovered. Please tell me that it's like the last enemy. Gather the rupees. Will do. Time limit is stressful. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's it then. Please don't be anything else that kills me. Like, right now! Jeez. Stop. Don't I need Octo Balloons for something? I feel like it benefits me to take you out. I think I might need Octo Balloons for something, so I'm gonna take you guys out. Because I might need stuff from you, quite frankly. And I wouldn't mind getting it. I'll draw Eyeball. I know I need that for something. I'm fairly certain. Okay, so what's gonna be at the end here after all- Okay, it's literally a great fairy fountain like in Breath of the Wild. Okay... What? It just took a freaking 1,800 rupees from me? Please tell me there's a checkpoint. 
Please tell me there was. Okay, it, yeah, it literally immediately takes 1,800 rupees from my inventory. Oh my goodness, we're literally fighting the Great Fairy. What? I am dodging! Well, restart. Restart. Sup? What happened to me being in there? Why do I just like get pushed down to the ground like immediately? What the heck? Well, no, I'm not getting the vortex thing. Crap, don't you dare. I am trying to go away. It is pushing me down to the ground. Look, it pushes me down to the ground. I literally can't be airborne in this fight. What? Why can't I be? Look, it pushes me down to the ground immediately. Why does it push me down to the ground immediately? Look like it still gives me the airborne moveset. But like, there's that and then do the crazy vortex thing. And yeah, that whittles that down a decent bit. So like, I can sort of be airborne, but like. <sighs> so I can barely evade things because I'm being pushed down to the ground. Restart, restart. I can't afford to have, you know, half of my available health when you consider that I only have two healing items taken away immediately. Like, I just can't afford for that to happen. My goodness, you want to do the bomb thing? How do I dodge it? I'm literally dodging to the right and the vertical straight down slap hits me anyway. Like, I, d I literally need to take this stuff off. Ah! I am doing everything in my power here. D no defeat conditions? Are you sure about that game? I'm pretty sure I've gotten defeat a few times here. I was in the middle of taking off. I can't afford to take damage immediately. I need to restart now. This is this is impossible, isn't it? Mostly because your flying is like janked over in this one. It shoves you down to the ground for some reason. Okay. Do that into the vortex, into... Can I do another vortex? Apparently I can, didn't even take off half. I'm gonna go over to this kind of open area over here. What do I do to dodge that one? That's all my health except for a quarter heart. Now I need to restart. Restart. My goodness. Go ahead and do the bombs. So. And then the vortex. And then another one. I mean, I could always just like shield. Wait, I can't shield in the, apparently I can't shield in the air. So if I land, then I can block. I mean, should I just do this? Just hope for the best. Make things slow and steady. Oh, dang it. Literally, what do I do? Like, I guess I can shield that then. Seems like. Hmm. I hate it. Everything sucks. Do that into the vortex. Okay, well. How much damage is it gonna do anyway? Barely anything. Great, my favorite. Love when things do barely anything. Yeah, I'll just. Eat that with my shield, I guess. This is what I suppose I'll do. Hmm. I mean, whoa! I can't even do anything about that in time. It's time. It's time. What? Okay. 
Yeah, if you give me as many of those openings as possible, that would be greatly appreciated. Nice camera angle, bro. Did I just get food? Oh my goodness. Well, so much for doing a whole lot of damage to this weak point gauge, considering, you know, camera angle happy. Not understand where I was in my string to get the combo that I wanted. My goodness. Okay, skedaddle. I'm stuck in here. I'm literally stuck in here. She booted me over the rock now. This is definitely not the best battlefield, to say the least, is it? Oh, maybe I can like jank you over here like this? I take the tree out of the way. Maybe? Whoa, that didn't do anything! I'm not damaging her here. What a perfect game with no flaws whatsoever. Uh. Okay, I mean, I could do that. And then we can make an opening, essentially. So like, and then we do the vortex. Yeah, I feel like using stasis is probably gonna wind up being the play. I feel like. I shouldn't have tried to dash that. That is my last healing item. Okay, well. Let me do that. And then... Wait, I can't even do... I need Revali to specifically not do the animation where he does the shoot up into the air and spin thing. I specifically need him to not do that then. Okay, yeah, start out with that. Thank you. One, two, three, four. And then we'll like stasis. No way, I can't stasis because the thing is recharge. Dang it. Darn it. Yeah, if the opening is made by a bomb, then I can't use stasis and I can't use it there either right now. I hate it. Great, some sort of an opening like that. Yeah, and then I'll just do regular attacks to ensure that I can do this. Instead of him doing like the spinny thing. And then we'll actually take off a decent bit of the weak point gauge. Okay, can't use stasis again quite yet, but we'll take off a little bit here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be mostly grounded Revali for this fight. That's what I think I'm going to be. Just shield that one and let it break my shield. It's fine enough, I suppose. No, cancel it out. So I can do this. And then we can do the Vortex thing. And then we can do a weak point smash. Yeah, I feel like this is probably gonna be the strat. So I mean, yeah, shoot that ground Revali. Did it real good. No. Oh, I shielded that just in time. Not gonna be able to stasis that one though. I hate it. No weak point gauge after that one. My goodness. Yeah, I'll just let that one break my shield. That's what I'll do. Get a couple hits in here, and then do the thing. And then, yeah, that's about as much as I can do to the weak point gauge out of that-ish. I might be able to get two vortexes in if I immediately start with that. If I try to be, like, ultra spicy. Maybe? Okay. Well, yeah, if I take off, like, immediately. And then, yeah, just keep on doing this. And then get a- yeah, I can get a couple vortexes in, it seems like. Man, I wish this little rock wasn't here! Making this area weird and stuff. Okay, that makes me understand the map a little bit better if I do that to the map. Okay, do some- and it makes you open. Slow and steady here. Slow and steady. Okay. Nope. Okay, let's do the couple vortexes, is what we do, and then we'll do a weak point smash. Okay, so we still haven't gotten a hit in this attempt yet. I feel like I understand it well enough now. We're at half health, so it seems like I can go this way around the rock here, or into the map. You started coming all the way around. What? I guess because you can't fit through that little gap, so you just start going all the way around, so I can use that. Oh, okay. No, take off, please. So we can do the vortex, maybe. Cool. 
and then we'll do the vortex thing over and over again. Yeah. Yeah, the vortex thing is definitely a good go-to. Am I getting emails or something right now? Apparently so. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this one more time. We go again and again and continuously again and again and again. So like... Okay, I need a land so that I can... Whoops. No! I said land! There goes all my health. Great. I love this game. Well, my goodness, and after we were doing so well as well. Yikes, I mean, this could well still be the run. Just sucks that on very hard mode, it's like, well, you screwed up once, guess you're one-shotable now. Also, I'm out of food items, which is gonna suck for future battles. Uh, stasis right now, please. Yeah, we'll cancel that out. Oh, so I can cancel mid-animation after he's already fired, like, the actual arrow volley itself. That is good to keep in mind. That is very nice to keep in mind. And then another more attack thing. Okay. One more weak point smash, and we should be able to do it. As long as I play things carefully here. So yeah, do the volley and then cancel it out. And then we can get the vortex thing. Is kind of what I'm leaning towards here. Oh, land. Might even be able to do it with my special attack, maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Don't you dare. Okay, stasis. Then we fire the arrows, immediately cancel it out, and then we'll do the vortex thing here. And this should do a whole bunch of damage to your Thingmer Bob. And I'll even go ahead and, well, well, also with my scarf off, I can let my hair down a bit easier. Okay, that, uh, very hard mode is, uh, a game mode I am playing right now. <laughs> to say the least, Fairy Fountain Grassy Plains. And there's gonna be more of those around the world then, huh? My goodness. My goodness, well, we got a, some maracas that we can sell. This Viseer's Fairy is able to heal all wounds. It is easy to mistake for a firefly at first glance, but it glows brightly both at night and during the day. But does it work like fairies do in, like, regular Breath of the Wild, where they can be in your inventory and consume to revive you? 